People ask me, well, what would you, what would you be doing if you wasn't in prison? I'd probably be dead. Uh, yeah, my name is uh, Mel Keon, huh? I've been down 30 years on a 26 to life sentence. Um, I came to jail when I was 18 years old. And um, I started off, you know, some level four prisons, you know, continuing the violence that, from the street to prison, county, juvenile hall, county jail, prison, Pelican Bay. And um, it took me a long time to learn. You know, I had to um, come to prison basically to learn how to live. People ask me, well, what would you, what would you be doing if you wasn't in prison? I'd probably be dead, honestly, because the life I was living, I didn't see a, I didn't see a reason to stop, and I, and I didn't see a way to stop. I was a kid. I was still a kid, doing a lot of grown folks' things, right? And um, and it landed me here. You know, I, I think that um, I kind of deserve to be in prison. I hate to, I hate to say that, you know what I'm saying, but that's what it took for me to learn who I was as a man. You know, as a person, how to live and coexist with people, period, right? Because, um, you know, coming from you know, South Central Los Angeles, just like every other ghetto, you know, it's a lot of traps in there. It's a lot of traps, right? So when I finally got to here, to Folsom Prison, I was able to concentrate on myself. You know, I put the gangs be behind me, and I was able to just work on me. I was able to work on me, you know, so I got gotten older, and I felt that, you know, I don't owe nobody nothing. I owe myself something. I owe my family something. I owe my old, old God you know, for saving me and bringing me this far. So I, I just like really, I, I had to like, you, just, you know, I wanted to tell my story, you know what I'm saying, to give the understanding that, you know, I've, I've helped a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, I, th I thank God for putting me in a position to, to help a lot of people to be a blessing because when I was on the street, I hurt a lot of people. I hurt a lot of people and this is me giving back. And I, I just thank, thank y'all for the opportunity to, 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 to speak on here. And um, I just hope somebody hears it, you know, to, and then make a, make a change in their life. Because I, I want to say something to, uh, yeah, to the youngsters, right? It's like, you have to know what you're trading in. You know, whatever life you're living on the street, you know, whatever, like I was 17 when my case happened. I'm 49 now. I'm not the same person at 49 as I was with 17. You're going you're gonna to regret it. You're going to regret it. It's going to be a time when you're like, man, I wish I never done that. Man, I wish I never thought like that. You know, so I'm going to tell anybody that I can, change before you have to change. You know, change now because it's going to be a day when you're not going to feel the same. It's going to be a day when you're not going to think the same because you're not the same person. So I, I just thank you for this opportunity to say something. One, one more question. Uh, what's, what's, what's your favorite childhood memory? <laughs> it's being sit, sitting with my grandmother watching um, Good Times and the Jeffersons. And, you know, it's being with my family. It's being with my family, you know. That's the, that's the, that's the main thing that I miss. You know, like I said, I left, I left at 18. And here I am after all these years, 30 years later. That's the main thing I miss is being with my family. So, thank, thank you. you so much, bro. All right. Appreciate that, man. All the thank time. you for being vulnerable. Oh, thank you. Yes, sir.